Right, as I said at the top of the show, the Victorian government's controversial pandemic laws look set to pass the parliament after late night amendments were added to the bill. For the latest, I'm joined by Sky News reporter Andrea Crothers. Andrea, thank you for your time. Talk us through these changes overnight and the likely passage of the bill later on this evening, perhaps. Well, Peter, as you can see, there's protesters here once again on the steps of Parliament. They're preparing for another long night as this bill has been debated through Victoria's upper house. Last night was a long night too because the state government, it was thrashing out a deal with the key upper house crossbenchers whose support it needs to be able to get this bill through the Parliament. So they agreed to seven key amendments. That includes halving the maximum fines for those who breach those public health orders, releasing the public health order advice behind decisions within seven days, not 14, um, and as well as also inserting the Premier must be satisfied that there's reasonable grounds before making a pandemic declaration. So they're just some of the seven key amendments that have come through. The crossbench speaking today, they said that they didn't get everything they wanted. They still have concerns around detention, but they're satisfied with how this looks as it is. As a result, we have legislation that is accountable, that is transparent. A piece of legislation that is fit for purpose. We were happy to make those because we know they strike the right balance between keeping Victorians safe uh, and making sure that the rights of Victorians to go about their business uh, in a normal manner are enshrined. Yeah, Andrew, I picked through those uh, amendments at the top of the show. I think they're lipstick on a pig. They're window dressing. And they sound far more substantial than they are. And uh, I think they add very little in terms of clawing back liberty in this legislation. We've got the opposition, we know, implacably opposed. Still plenty of legal experts. The ombudsman out there today. Civil liberty groups as well. All arguing the laws still put too much power, even as amended, in the hands of uh, a Premier with very little a parliamentary oversight. Yeah, that's right, Peter. The argument here is still that there's too much control, too little oversight. That's the view of the state opposition, also of a number of legal groups as well. The Victorian Ombudsman, they say that this is... Uh, she says that this is too little oversight. She would like to see that done by a court. Now, the government, as part of these amendments that they've agreed to, they've agreed to enable Parliament's uh, Scrutiny of Acts and Regulations Committee to actually uh, scrutinise this as the public health orders are made rather than once it is tabled in Parliament. Now, unsurprisingly, this is something which the state opposition has really seized on, really questioning well, how much power would that actually have. How can a committee with a Labor chair and Labor majority possibly be independent oversight of the government's pandemic response? These arrangements are in line, are in line with New South Wales, New Zealand, and they have more scrutiny, more oversight than the current arrangements. So, although the government has the support it needs to get this through the parliament, it is being debated in the upper house at the moment. The opposition it had tried to stall this debate, but the government responded by declaring it an urgent bill. So, these new pandemic laws are poised to be passed through the parliament by the end of the week. It could happen Thursday or Friday, we understand. And it would therefore come in in time in order to replace the existing state of emergency powers, which expire on December 15. Peter? Thank you, Andrea. And the opposition wasn't stalling the debate there. I'll just make the point uh, the government was trying to quarantine or curtail the debate. They just want normal debate. Andrea Crothers, thank you for your time.